the lava hasn't even de descended yet, so if I if I hadn't to try to destroy the spawners, that place would still be just fine. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Um that that's sort of depressing. So the Victory Monument is a good place to be because it's all lit up like this. Let's see how much wood do I get from this? Enough to make another chest. Jeez. I really feel like this is unfair. It's too hostile for me. But well, on the bright side, this is a much safer place. I know that I'm not gonna eventually get lava poured on me from that hole up there. If the lava doesn't actually come down, I'm going to look like a total idiot. But I know it's going to come down. I just know it's going to come down. Uh, I've got a, uh, I know that there's a uh, chest with flint and steel, and that's what I use to light stuff. Oh, man. But unfortunately, there's a gas spawner over there. There's a gas spawner floating in the air. And there's spiders chasing me. Spiders on fire. So, yeah, this place looks really amazing. This reminds me of, um, Vinyl Fantasy. Except, I should say that Vinyl Fantasy reminds me of this, because this was made before Vinyl Fantasy. It's like an art, artsy thingy. So it's really artsy. I mean, look at this. There's, like, a giant thing there, and there's, like, stuff coming from the sky, and there's all these tendrils over here. These tendrils are what I'm going to be traveling on, mostly. I'm going to have to travel along these tendrils. There's a fleecy box there. That's where the wool is. And the tendrils lead to all these different um, dungeons. I know that that is a very nice house, but there's a gas bone right there. So I have to get rid of that first. And I know that that is like, um, it's supposed to be a trap with like a monster spawner on it that's supposed to shoot at me, but it it's pretty much just a place with a whole bunch of arrows and a dispenser, so that's nice. <laughs> I love how I'm looking at this saying like, oh, um, fleecy box, arrows, and nice home, instead of saying death, 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 more death. <laughs> that would be more accurate. So, let's see, there's two chests. That's the chest of foot and steel. It almost looks like it's gone, though. You see that? There's no, there's nothing under that. If the foot and steel is gone, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna go look at that right now, cause that, if the flint and steel is gone, I might just, I might just unzip this world. No, no, nope, it's there. It just didn't render. All right, so there's a chest here with goodies. Um, I'm taking all the goodies quickly, as quick as a little bunny, bunny rabbit. And I'm gonna put these goodies in a chest, and I'm gonna die because my hunger bar is too low. And I'm going to have to try and destroy the gas bar, because that needs to be killed. Both of them. And luckily there's only two. Ugh. This would be so much harder if there were more of X. I'm ashamed of you. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot to take my pants off. Pants away. So the pants went in there. I might actually want to do something productive. Yeah, look at that. So I would have died either way, it's just, I actually died faster by actually trying to destroy a gas spawner. <laughs> so it just goes straight on through there, and it should be coming out the bottom. Hmm. Well. Whoa! Freeze! Okay. I'll edit that part out. <laughs> I will not end out the part where I say I'll edit that out, though. Hello, Andy man. Um, what can I do that's most productive in this death? I can look at an Enderman? No. That's not really productive. I can try to destroy a gas spawner with my bare hands. Woohoo! Alright. Let's see how long this is going to take me. Um, I'm afraid. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's not going to work. 
I can lure the creeper over here. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm luring the creeper over to the gas spawner. Creeper, I know you're over here. Hello, green man with no arms. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. There you go. Oh, oh you, you blew up, didn't you? That, that ruined my day. If only I could get, like, the Enderman to come and take the spawner. But that doesn't really work. Um. <laughs> wow, I'm surviving quite long. We're having nothing. Oh, it blew up the area marker. Thanks a lot, Vetches. The sign isn't even there anymore. Wow. The area marker just says starting island. Big surprise. We're at the sp hey. <coughs> I just walked into a little bit of fire and it was over. Alright. So the gas seems to have um disappeared. Oh, I could use the stone pickaxe to go destroy the spawn. I'm gonna do that. Only, yeah, I'm gonna use this. It's gonna be risky, but I'm going to have to. Yes, I'm not really gonna be going over there. You know what? Yeah, I'm not going over there, so I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna go go near the spawners. So I'm just going to avoid them. I mean, there is a little bit of wood over there, but not enough to make me destroy the gas spawners and risk my life. Or risk my pick, I should say, because my life is nothing in this game. I'm going to try to get to um, the flint and steel. I could maybe try to lure a creeper into destroying it. But the one floating, I might actually go near that one, so I might have to kill it. And luckily, there's so much fire over here that um, not too many mobs spawn. But I mean, there is the occasional creeper, the occasional skeleton. The skeleton is the worst. And there's a there's a cave spider spawner somewhere. Did you hear that? I heard like a bang sound. It must have been, um, an extra piece of TNT going off. Because there, there's probably a little more TNT over there. That hasn't gone off yet. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not letting you end my life. Oh my gosh, this was really risky taking all the flint and steel in one go. But I feel like I'm going to live. That's a very bad thing to say, but... <laughs> and I think when I get back, I'm going to cut this episode short. It might actually have elongated into two episodes. Well, I'm going to cut this episode short here. I'm going to put my valuable fit in steel. What do I don't need? What do I don't need? Signs. I'm going to end this episode with a death. Put signs on the ground. I'm going to put all these signs on the ground just in case I need them later. I know they're not really that important, but if I were to lose so many signs from guests that all the signs of the Victor Monument went away and I ran out of signs, then yeah, I'll do that. Whoa! Oh, well, I had a sign. I had a sign. Oh, my gosh. All right. 